This is me and my homestay family when I was in Canada. It was my first time in a foreign country, so I was really bad at English. So even though my homestay family and friends were very kind enough to understand my poor English, sometimes we encountered a miscommunication, and this was one of those. What do you want for lunch? McDonald's. Huh? McDonald's. Pardon? McDonald's. So, do you guys get what went wrong here? Well, I tried as far as I could explaining what I meant. Um, they sell burgers, French fries, and after that, he says, "Ah, McDonald's." So, whether if you're a Korean who's in a foreign country or you're a foreigner in Korea, you might encounter this kind of moment a lot. And this is because most of the Koreans pronounce English words as Korean. So, for example, McDonald's in Korea is McDonald's. These Hangul signs of McDonald's were really common back then. So, anyways, in this video, we're going to learn how Koreans pronounce English and understand why are those two so different. But before we begin, you might have a question. Why should I learn this? Well, that's a fair question, and I have three fair answers. Number one, to understand Koreans' English. Number two, to let the Koreans understand your English. Number three, Korean language has many English borrowed words, and they are pronounced like Korean English. The first reason why they are so different is the asymmetry between the sounds, and in Korean grammar, we have a solution for that, which is called. 외래어 표기법. 외래어 means foreign borrowed words, and 표기법 means rules to write them. But this rule can't cover all the asymmetry. For example, F and P are very different sounds, but in Korean, when you write in Korean, it's P. L and R, different sounds, but R according to the very rule. And these are the chart for the writing rule. You can see that on the left there are international phonetic alphabet, and on the right the Korean writing substitutes. So the problem is right here. You write English word into Hangul, the Korean alphabet, and the Koreans read the Korean version of that English word. So there's a difference in the pronunciation. Here's an example. Bus in Korean is bus. The reason for this is that when you change the English bus into Korean alphabet Hangul, it becomes bus. This is also related to the second reason, vowel. In Korean, you must have a vowel to pronounce something. So, for example, the alphabet K can be pronounced in English, k, but the Korean alphabet Kyeok can't be pronounced on its own. That's why we add the vowel u and pronounce it like k. So for English syllable without a vowel like k, we add Korean vowel or ignore the sound at all. So for McDonald's, mc and z can't be pronounced in Korean because they're missing vowels, so they're not syllables. So for mc, we add a, so we pronounce it like m. For d, we just drop the s and pronounce it like. This is why McDonald's in Korean is McDonald's. This characteristic is really visible in the word Christmas tree. In English, Christmas tree has three syllables: Chris, Mess, and Tree. But because Koreans can't pronounce sounds like k, s, and t, the Korean version of Christmas tree is Christmas tree. And you can see that there are four more syllables in Korean, so that's why there's so big difference: Christmas tree and Christmas tree. So we learned why there are so huge difference in Korean and English for English words. So let's go through some Korean, very common Korean words, which are borrowed from English words. The first one is pinil. Pinil is borrowed from the English word vinyl, and when Koreans say this, this means just a thin plastic, like for plastic bags. So for plastic bags, 
the Koreans say 비닐봉지 or 비닐봉투. So when you need a plastic bag in Korea, you might just want to say uh, 비닐봉지 있어요? Or do you have any 비닐봉투? Since most of the Koreans don't know the term plastic bag. But we do use plastic, which is borrowed from plastic. We use plastic for everything that is made of plastic except for plastic bags. Korean words like slipper, which is borrowed from slippers, you can see that we drop the S from the plural S, and for fork, the Korean version of it is pok. So these were the few examples of very common Korean words that are borrowed from English words. I mean, there were official words in the Korean dictionary. Let's look at some words which are borrowed from English words, but not in the dictionary. The first one is legend. This is borrowed from the English word legend, and when Koreans say it, it just means legend of something. Terror, which is borrowed from terror, but the Koreans use it like terrorist attack. But even for like slight pranks or spamming, like for message spamming, Koreans refer this to Munta Tero. The last one is Oguru. Oguru is borrowed from the English word aggro, but the Koreans use it for the substitute of the word troll. So Oguru Kilda means trolling. Well, this is it for the video. Uh, I have a lot of more examples. Uh, the Korean words that are borrowed from foreign languages, and I'll link them in the descriptions. We also have a Discord server uh, where we talk about learning Korean, sharing Korean memes, or everything that is related to the Korean culture. Um, thanks for watching through the end. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for supporting this channel. And please recommend anything you want to learn through this channel. Thank you for watching. 다음에 봐요.